If you'd like to better understand how Thrive Theme Builder templates work and editing templates versus using Thrive Architect and just a better understanding of the big picture, then you're in the right place. I'm Doug from Convology, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit templates in Thrive Theme Builder and how to avoid some common pitfalls that I see people make with respect to templates. So let's first jump in and take a look at the Thrive Theme Builder template library. Right now we're looking at those core templates. If you've just installed Theme Builder, yours should look very similar. You're going to get a default post, a default page, a default video post, and they kind of give you more uh, default templates depending on if you're using something like WooCommerce. Up at the top here, we have this gray button that says core templates. If you click on that, you'll see that there are a variety of templates and you can even change it to say view all templates where you get this big exhaustive list of different options that you can choose, kind of like templates to start with, kind of to get you started. But I'm gonna jump back to core templates and that's where we're gonna stay for this video. So the first thing I wanna do is give you kind of like an overview and kind of use an analogy to help you kind of better understand how templates and pages work together, fit together, how Thrive Theme Builder kind of fits within this big picture of WordPress and building a theme. So to do that, I'm gonna jump over to my iPad here and I'm gonna look at this analogy of a house or, or a property. So when you look at a floor plan, you see that you have different rooms, right? So for example, we have like a master bedroom, right? And a master bedroom has a layout and let's say four walls or however many walls it has. And then there's things like a closet and a bathroom and maybe even a patio and a guest bedroom and every floor plan or most floor plans are a little bit different. I like to think of these rooms as templates. They have, for the most part, four main walls. Sometimes they have windows, right? Windows in different places. There's a main area that you live in, right? But within that main area, maybe it has a kitchen or a cabinet or a closet. And so when we think of Thrive Theme Builder, I like to think of the templates as the rooms, right? Defined living areas, defined spaces, defined areas that we might put things into to decorate or to design. I also like to think of templates using another analogy as cookie cutters. So a particular cookie cutter is going to have the same shape and you can stamp that cookie cutter into different uh, ingredients. You could make sugar cookies, you could make chocolate chip cookies, you could use a cookie cutter to trace something, to use it for a different purpose, but no matter what, it retains that shape. So just like a template, you wouldn't want to take that cookie cutter, if yours is made of maybe like metal, and bend it and manipulate it and tweak it and do actual changes to the cookie cutter itself, just like you wouldn't normally want to come into a room and say, hmm, I want to add another room to my house and then break walls and move walls, right? These are kind of solid things that stay. They're kind of contiguous across our entire website. They're the things that don't change. Now contrast that with the things inside. If we go with my room analogy here, contrast that with the things inside of the walls, right? We have the decorations, we have things like the bed and the nightstand, we have the couch and the TV and the eating area. And in this particular floor plan, they've decided to put down a rug. Now, an even better way to think of this is, let's look at the master bedroom, right? So in the master bedroom, maybe they just you decided to put the bed facing this wall. On the other bedroom, you decided to face it that wall. You could have made any choice you want. And if these used the same template, it would have been your choice on how to decorate the, the, the room, right? Just like a page. So to decorate the room, and we look at the decorations, choosing to put a chair here or a table out here, we would use Thrive Architect. We would use Thrive Architect to go into the room and make the changes to decorate it. So we would use Thrive Architect to change things like what photos are on the page, what text is on the page, do we have toggle sections, do we have collapsible areas? We would not make decoration changes inside of Thrive Theme Builder because that would apply to all of the rooms that use that particular template. So I hope this kind of analogy might help you get a, a little bit of a clearer understanding that Thrive Theme Builder is the skeleton, it's the structure, it's the layout, it's the walls of the house, it's where the windows go, it's not where you put the table or the bed. So now I wanna jump back over to uh, my demo site and let's take a look at some of the reasons why and kind of how that line of thinking works. So if we look at our default page template, and I bring up the default page template here, you'll see that in this very, very simple page, there's actually some really important things going on. In this default page template, we have a top section. 
we have a content section right here on the left you can kind of follow along and we have the header the top the content the bottom the footer and those are visually represented actually on the page and if i hover over them you'll see there's these little tags that pop up on the left top section content area content wrapper bottom section and footer now if i'm having a template that's for all pages this is my general default page template I would never come in here and type in a specific page title. I would never call this like, uh, you know, contact us or about us. And what confuses a lot of people, I believe, is the sample data that's been brought in. So in the upper right hand corner, you can see that I'm referencing uh, the sample page in the back end of WordPress. I could easily pull in my privacy policy and you'll see that it will change to reference the privacy policy, privacy policy page as just what I'm seeing here. I'm not actually editing that page. This is just content placeholders. And I think that's super important to understand because so many people think, okay, I'm looking at the privacy policy, policy content. I'm just going to start editing and I'm going to drag in text and I'm going to drag in content. You'd never ever drag in text here and think that you're editing the privacy policy page. That's such a, such a common mistake. Instead, think of this as just the skeleton again i'm editing the walls of the room so if i put, pull back in my sample page and if i can type sample here we go pull back in the sample page let's take a look at the things that i would change here well if i wanted the top section on every page to not be this convology blue instead i wanted it to be maybe like a purple color i would come into background section click here into my colors unlink it from all of them find a purple that I like and hit apply. Now, any page that uses the default page template will have a purple background top section. Now, if we click on the title, you might say, well, how does it know what, what title to use on the template? Well, that's using dynamic content. If we look up here, there's this little stacked disc section here. I never understood what that image is, but if we click on it, we do a drop down. you'll see that it says dynamic text, it's pulling at the page level and it's going to pull the page title dynamically. That means it's going to pull in whatever is put into the back end of WordPress as that page title. And I'll show you, let's, let's jump in and take a look at that. So I'm going to open in a new tab here and go to my pages. Again, this is my, my demo site, right? So if I go to, let's do a search for sample, find my sample page and we go to sample page and I click edit you're going to see that this is the page title that it's pulling. Now the content on the page, that's the page title, the content on the page here, this post content is currently pulling the post content that was put into the WordPress editor. But if I went into Thrive Architect, this is where the Thrive Architect content would go. It would go within this content area. And I don't edit that in Theme Builder. I edit that in Thrive Architect or in the WordPress standard WYSIWYG editor. The same goes for the bottom section. If I don't want a bottom section on any of my pages, I simply toggle it off. And now every page on my website that uses the default template will have no bottom section. So I've made some changes here. I want to click Save Work. Now let's go back into our template or our, our back in into our WordPress site here and look at our page. On the right hand side, this page, what template is it using under Theme Builder? It's using the default template. If I click on that, you'll see that I have different options. So if I click blank page and I preview, preview in a new tab here. Well, that doesn't count. I have to update it first. There we go. If I update that and I hit preview, there we go. You'll see that now the sample page no longer uses my default template that I built in Thrive Theme Builder. It's using my blank page template. If I come back and I change that template to the default template and I update it, gotta remember Thrive Theme Builder, you always have to update. Press refresh, now you can see it's pulled back in the template and it's referencing the sample page. Let's create a new page just to give you uh, an example of what I'm talking about. So let's click add new and let's call this, let's call this um, Doug's sample page, like make it super specific, right? And if I click save draft, and again, on the right hand side, I'm using the default page template. If I preview this, 
you're going to see that once this loads, it's always slow on that. There we go. You'll see that it has Doug's sample page TTP tutorial. Right? It's got my purple background. It has no it has no bottom section, but there's no content, right? So now let's take the next step and let's add the bed and the couch and the furniture into this room that we just created. I'm going to do that with Thrive Architect. So now I'm launching Thrive Architect. And as this um, loads up here, you're going to see that I can edit only within certain areas. And let's just, uh, when this pops up, this also confuses people. If I want to just use the normal theme template, right here, this blue banner, I want to choose normal page. If I want a standalone page that's a little bit different, I'm no longer using my theme templates. So if we want to use the template like we are in this tutorial, click normal page. So as you can see here, we have this little dotted line that says post content. This is where Thrive Architect will edit. Notice up here, this section right here, we can't edit this. This is dynamically pulling in the title. If I click on it, nothing happens. If I click down here, I get a, sometimes you'll get like a little pop-up on the right, see if I can get it to stay. It'll say like, it'll slide out here because there's this little Thrive Theme Builder button that says, hey, it looks like you're trying to edit something that's not in Thrive Architect. You should swap over to Thrive Theme Builder instead. That's a good tip because if we did, there it is, we could edit the template itself. So let's add a bed, right? So for example, we can add text onto our page. If we wanted to add an image, we can add an image onto our page. And let's add this from a previous tutorial, right? We're adding things just on this page and they are within the walls, the top section, the content area, the footer, the bottom section of the template that we put together. So I'm going to save that and let's come back in here and let's see what happens if I change this to the blank page template Let's save that draft and come back in here to our preview. Well, first let's preview this page here. There we go. Too many tabs open. So you can see now, I changed it to the blank template. We lost our header section. We lost our formatting. But if I come back in here and to the default template, and I'm, I'm overemphasizing this and going back and forth because I want you to see what happens. I guess I should come back to this page. I want you to see what happens when you change those templates. So there you go. Now we've pulled back in my template. It knew that it wanted to reference dynamically this page title and do the blue, the purple background. Now, some people say, well, what if I don't want a purple background on every page? Let's talk about that for a second. If you wanted to use an image, we could come in here to our template. I could go to the background style. I could add an image and I could choose dynamic. And now what it's going to do is it's going to automatically pull in the featured image. If I choose featured image here, that I set at the page level. And then I can manipulate where that fits and what settings I have. But if I hit apply and save my work, and then I preview this, I'm gonna close all my other tabs so I don't get lost. There we go. You'll see that now there's no image there, but it's trying to find one. Well, if I come back into Thrive Theme Builder, or I'd rather I come back into uh, WordPress and I go to pages and let's find our sample page because we want to edit the featured image, right? If I go to sample page and I click edit, on the right hand side, at least on mine, yours might be down at the bottom or depending on your, whatever uh, setup you have in your WordPress backend, but you'll find the featured image area. And I can click set featured image and I'm gonna open up my WordPress library and I can choose a background image that I want or a featured image that I want for this page. I'm gonna set that, click update, and then come back to this and I'm going to refresh you'll see that it has automatically pulled in the featured image that I set on my sample page. But wait, let's come back in here and if I click the back button, let's go to Doug's sample page tutorial and click edit. We're still using the same template, but we're going to set a different featured image. Let's for this one, if my library decides to load, there we go. Let's for this one choose, I don't know, this, this nighttime shot and click save draft and preview. Now you can see the exact same template still pulls in the title dynamically, still pulls in the same content, still has the no bottom section and a footer, but it has a different featured image because I set the featured image to be dynamic. And that's the key. You can have a template that has the same walls, the same window position, the same flooring, but it can have dynamic variables like a dynamic page title, a dynamic background section or an image. And that's how we use the same template for multiple pages. Now, there's technically nothing wrong with creating many different templates 
So I might come into my page and I might create a very special template that has a no top section, or maybe it has a special top section with a special call to action in it. And I'm, I may design that template for use on very specific pages. That's okay, but just realize that you're setting up the walls and the structure that are meant to be stamped out. They're meant to be cookie cutters and replicate themselves across different pages. You're not meant to edit page level content within Thrive Theme Builder. So I hope that this tutorial, and if I switch back over to the iPad here, I hope that this tutorial and this visualization has helped you to understand the difference between templates and pages, how they fit together and how you should think about them as you use Thrive Theme Builder to create your theme in WordPress. All right, that'll do it for me. Again, this is Doug at Convology, and if you have any questions about how all of this works, please feel free to reach out and I'm happy to help.